Welcome to Scale Modeling Videos. In today's video, I'll be building the Airfix 1x48P40B Warhawk. Let's get started. I have already done an inbox review of this kit. To see that, please have a look at the link in the top right hand corner there. This video is broken into uh, many chapters. The first chapter being uh, the build of the cockpit, the second chapter being the assembly of the uh, main body, the third chapter being painting of the main body and the small parts, the fourth chapter being uh, weathering the panel lines, uh, the fifth chapter being decals, uh, the sixth chapter uh, being the uh, final assembly and the seventh chapter being the final reveal. Okay, if you want to skip ahead to any of those chapters, have a look at the YouTube bar down the bottom and you'll be able to skip to those chapters if you wish. With these seat belts, I am painting them firstly with Tamiya enamel buff. I am letting the paint spill. Uh, then I will create a wash using Humbrol 226 and paint over the uh, spilled paint. Okay, I've already done a video on this on my channel called ha called How to Paint Raised Detail. For uh, more detail on uh, how to do this, please go ahead and watch that video.
here I am creating uh, a gloss effect using a paintbrush and small drops of uh, Pledge Floor Care. I have applied some spare photo edge seat belts here to the seat. To see how I did this, please watch my review on the Tamiya's tweezers.
The aircraft is now assembled. Now I have done an entire video on how to sand, fill gaps and prime this. To see that please have a look at the uh, video in the top right hand corner there. Okay, here it is all primed, uh, ready to be uh, painted.
I have already painted the propeller. To see how I've done that, please have a look at the video in the top right hand corner. Here I am just gloss coating it. I have made a mistake here. I have uh, placed the propeller upside down uh, and I will now attach it to the airplane uh, as well, upside down. I will fix this mistake later. Here I fix the uh, propeller. I was able to remove most of the wash using just a plain tissue and no enamel thinner.
To create the panel lines over the decals, I used Copic multi-liner pens. I have done a video on how to highlight raised detail like the ribbing here. To have a look at that video, please look at the link in the corner. To see how I masked and painted this canopy, please have a look at the video in the top right hand corner there.